Hello, ev welcome, welcome everybody back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be doing another uh, mod showcase of my best mods of the week. And first off, we're going to start off with this. It is the oh, not bad. The Heroes Revolver Pistol. It is really cool looking. It almost looks like something off Overwatch. Um, it has a pretty good shot off of it too. I haven't shot anybody with it physically, but it, it just it just looks you know really cool with the blue and the silver on it. It's just maybe something to try out. Um, the next one is the HF blade. Now this thing, if you were like equip it while your person is looking like this, it actually makes a weird noise. And it's pretty cool. And then, you know, you can see the lightning on it and stuff. It kind of reminds me something off of... What is that? Not Resident Evil. What, hold on, what am I thinking of here? Dead Island. That's it. Dead Island, uh, the first one. If You remember the blades, how you could, like, upgrade them and stuff? And how I had lightning in them? That's, that's where I... That's what this looks like to me. Alright, moving on. Next mod is the... Um, it's actually the MP... It's the MP5 um, Assault SMG. Now this thing, it's got some recoil. But it is really cool. And once you upgrade it and stuff, it doesn't really have a lot of damage. But it just it just looks good overall. You know what I'm saying? And I, I like it. It comes with a suppressor on it. You can find this weapon um, in the root cellar, uh, right over here in the sanctuary, right over there. And which one was it? Was it this hero's gun? You have to find it in the Museum of Freedom. You walk in the doors, you go right, and you keep going, and it's in one of the display cases in one of the rooms. I think it's the second room. Um. The HF blade. Where's that? No. Yeah, there we go. I made that sound for once. The HF blade. You can craft it at the chemistry station. And the last one is the. It is the saw blade launcher. It actually shoots a saw blade. And you can craft this one as well at the chemistry station. And you can craft all the blades there too. You can't actually see the blades coming out though. Hold on. Oh, now you can. Is there actually blades stuck in there? That's so cool. <laughs> this thing would be cool to actually shoot somebody with. I'll get to do that here in a minute. Um, the next mod is the. Um, now I've never done a, done this one. I know it's been out for a while, but. I think it's pretty cool looking and it looks pretty good on her. I mean, it looks really good on her. So they have this one and then the red one and then the black one. There's the red one, which looks pretty good. And then just the regular one actually. And it's the normal blue. I think they'll all look pretty good. Of course, I have the busty EV on. I finally got it to work. I had to put the, I had to mess around with the load order to get mine to work. And then let's look at some more apparel. Um, it is called Batman and Batgirl. Let's see here. Well, which one is it? I think it's this one. Okay. Now this looks awesome. This is actually the male version. Um. It looks, you know, really awesome looking. Let's go over here on the light. I know it's nighttime here. It looks really cool. It's like sick looking. And then let's look at the female version. And you can make all this for free. It doesn't cost anything at the chemistry station once you put them on in. There's the Batgirl. Batgirl suit. And you can use this, of course, with Busty Eevee. And it looks really good. And they actually have different ones. Say you, you know, your girl has hair, like mine does. It's got the hair coming out the back, which is pretty cool, you know. 
Another mod I actually have in, it actually makes her butt bigger. Uh, can't really see it that well, but she actually has a little bit of bigger of a butt. You could do this for male and female. Um, let's see. The next one is this guy over here. See him? Huh? He is like a, it's a Pokemon, Mega Man, oh, it's a mix between Pokemon and Mega Man 10. Now, there's only two ways to get this. One is to kill him, yes. and two is to do his mission. But he's fixing to die. And there's actually another one over there. I don't know why there's two, but... So let's take what he's got, and let's put it on me. I think you can upgrade it as well. We're going to find out. Well, hold on. You can't see it. Now you can. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Uh, don't get me wrong. Let's see if I can upgrade it. I don't know. No, it can't be upgraded. Okay. Well, it's still really cool looking. Definitely. It does have some good shine to it, so it's almost like it's got a glaze on it. I like it. I think that's all the mods I have in. Let me see. I have so many and I can't even tell you. I want to make sure I'm getting all everything. I'm not missing nothing. Well, of course, I have spawn in items. I always have that one in. I do have a craftable, craftable barber in settlement, but I'm not actually using it. Um, this one, if I could get it to work, it would be awesome, but it says you have to play around with the load order to get it to work. It almost makes them naked. It's close. Not, but it doesn't. It doesn't make them naked, but it's, like I said, it's, it's close. It just pretty much, let me see if it'll actually work. No. It would actually take her clothing and make it where there was like barely any clothing. If you understand what I'm saying. Like it, it, it takes it almost all the way off. I'm sure if you use that in the busty EV only, it would probably work. Um, with all the mods I have in, they change her body structure in a lot of different ways. So I can't say, you know, it's not... I'm not doing it the right way, more or less, is what I'm saying. Okay, well, that's pretty much all of them. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like and a share. And if you're new, subscribe for more, and I will catch you on the next one. All right, later.